This is either an awesome idea for a video or something I'm really gonna regret. So as a designer, we can't help but look at all the logos that we're surrounded by every day. I mean, they're everywhere. And I had an idea. What if I could try to take some of these popular logos and recreate them in just under three minutes? In this video, I'm gonna tip to do that and I hope it goes well. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, first logo is the new Pepsi logo. I'm gonna set my timer for three minutes. We're gonna see if we can recreate this in just under three minutes. I don't know how it's gonna go. Without further ado, start. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna start, I'm gonna grab my ellipse tool. So L on the keyboard. I'm just gonna trace this uh, ellipse. We want this to be a stroke. So uh, we'll have a white fill and I'm gonna have a black outline. Let's get that accomplished, okay. We're gonna increase the stroke width to, let's say 10 for now. Uh, that's probably a little too big, but that'll be okay for now. I'm actually gonna turn this fill off. All right, we'll leave that for now. Let's grab the pen tool, and I'm just going to trace this shape. Obviously, there's better ways to do this if I was really taking my time with this and creating a proper logo, but I have under three minutes to try to recreate this, so uh, we can't be perfect. All right, I like that shape right there. Line this up, my points. Okay, make sure to get that pretty good. I'm gonna hold shift so I can get a perfect curve. Connect it down here. I'm actually not mad about that trace right there. All right, we're about a minute in right now. I'm feeling okay. Perfect, all right, Command C, Command V. Let's rotate, rotate that 180 degrees. Perfect. Uh, Eye for eyedropper, get that color. All right, well, we're making progress. I'm, I'm liking this. I'm at about a minute 20 right now, so we're doing good on time, I feel like. Let's get all this lined up. So far, so good. Let's get this stroke of the outline uh, down a little bit. I'm gonna just knock that down, maybe like seven. No, nah, let's do six. I think six will be good. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna make sure these are lined up. Okay, that's that'll work. It's not perfect. All right, it's not perfect. I gotta hurry up. I've got like one minute left. I need to do Pepsi. I actually have no idea what typeface this is. I mean, I I don't even have a clue. I'm I'm assuming it's custom. Obviously, probably most of these are gonna be custom. Uh, let's do Futura condensed extra bold. Uh, it's okay. It's close. What I'm about to do is like a cardinal sin of graphic design. Don't do what I'm doing. I'm stretching this to get it somewhat similar uh yeah that's all right and real quick just to give it a little extra i'm going to go to uh i'm going to zoom in line this up object expand all right and then i can edit this little eye right here drop this down a touch all right i'm going to group this together I've got 20 seconds left. I mean, I'm not I'm not mad about this. Let's look at this a little closer. Hands off. I'll show you my time. 250. That's under three minutes. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, I can put that down. Let's look a little closer at these logos and see uh, how close I was. I mean, I think this little shape right here was actually really good for how quick I was able to knock that out. Um, this is just an inverse. The blue part is the inverse of the red part. The Pepsi, this is the worst part here. So the actual letters Pepsi, way off. I mean, you can look side by side. It's off. It just is. Uh, someone spent a lot of time doing a custom typeface here. Um, they put a lot of work into it. I was able to get this eye a little stylized like they did, but if I were to redo anything, it would definitely be spending more time uh, on the letters and maybe tightening up the little uh, curve, but overall under three minutes. I'm not mad about that Let's move on to the next one. All right guys next logo We got is the McDonald's logo not gonna lie. I am actually nervous about this one There's a lot of weird shapes in here, but we're gonna get it. So I've got my timer got it set at zero We're gonna start this uh, Let's go All right so I've got the McDonald's logo here. I don't have the actual word McDonald's in this one because I'm honestly nervous about how these arches are gonna go. Uh, click L, I'm gonna draw an ellipse, get it red just like the McDonald's logo, and now the tricky part. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and I'm gonna grab my pen tool. 
and I'm just gonna trace this out I don't know you know there's a lot of different ways you could do this in my head just quickly this is this makes sense so this is what we're gonna do all right so I've got one side of the arch I'm going to switch this to a stroke let's increase that uh, we're gonna have to definitely increase that a good bit uh, that'll be yeah we'll go to 20 that'll be good for now here's where the magic's gonna happen um, I'm actually gonna make this yellow for now I'll, I'll get this to match perfectly here in a second but we'll make that yellow and I'm gonna do shift W that's my width tool and now I can start adjusting some of the width and I'm gonna try to get this as accurate as possible it's gonna be difficult it just is um, Someone spent a lot of time getting this real nice, but I'm gonna try my best. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm just going along the path and editing the width of this. Oh man, this is already looking kind of off, I'm not gonna lie. I'm at a minute and a half already. Maybe if I, I'll drop this opacity so I can kind of see. Uh, let's do 50. Yeah, that'd be good. Command two to lock it. Uh, let's see. Shift W again, we want that width tool. Okay, that's kind of getting closer. Let me throw that up a little bit. Maybe we increase this just a touch. I think I think we might be getting somewhere. It's not perfect. It, it's really not. But again, I have three minutes, so what do you expect? All right, we're gonna have to be okay with that because I'm, I'm already at two minutes. I gotta wrap this up, so Command C, Command V. Uh, transform reflect all right let's throw these guys together uh, I've got some funkiness happening down here uh, we're just gonna have to roll with it I'm going to object expand oh man I can't find it hold on I feel so nervous these things that I do all the time all right object expand uh, where's my pathfinder window Pathfinder, Pathfinder. I'm going to merge these. Uh, I'm going to go Shift E, Option. I'm going to erase this just to make it flat. And I'm at 254. Let's put this inside of the red. Boom. There you go. 301. Hands off. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's zoom in a little bit and let's see how we uh, how this ended. I'm actually going to ungroup this because I want the McDonald's logo, or I'm going to unlock it. So, and I'm going to turn the opacity back to 100 just so we can see how close I got. Put these side by side. I'm not going to lie, this is much better than I thought it was going to be. Um, let's zoom in a little bit more. It's not terrible. I mean, I, I forgot to get the color just right, so let me fix that real quick. But, let me see, let me center it a little bit i'm pretty I'm, I'm pretty happy with this so if i line this up with the actual mcdonald's logo i mean those arches are pretty close i see right here this goes up much higher like this point right here so that would actually need to go like a little bit higher which messes up my arches right here so i'll just put that back but that's wrong uh this is too thick right here um there's some things that are wrong. I think this is up too far, so that probably needs to descend a little bit lower. But for three minutes, you know, I'm not terribly upset with this. I'm actually, I'm actually pretty pleased. So that's the McDonald's one. Let's go to the next one. All right, guys, this next logo has always been really special to me. I mean, you can see based on my shoe wall back here, I'm doing the Nike logo. I feel good about this one. I'm nervous about the swoosh, but I think we'll knock it out. All right, I've got my timer here. We're gonna start this. Let's go. All right, so let's zoom in a little bit. And all right, so let's start with the, the type uh, Nike. I actually do know that this is Futura Condensed Extra Bold. They may have done some little things here and there to adjust it, but uh, I'm pretty confident that's what this is. So I'm gonna get this closer, uh, make it a little bit bigger. And what I'm noticing is I need to adjust my tracking, so let's go to character. And let's just scoot this in. It looks like the E is like almost touching the K. All right, that's close. And now what I need to do is I need to skew this. So let's go to shear, yep. 
I'm gonna hold shift so I can get this nice. That actually looks pretty close. Let me change this to a different color because I can't hardly see. Uh, grab the shear tool again. I mean, that's that's pretty dang close. I'm, I'm about a minute in, so I'm gonna have to call that because I'm actually most nervous about this swoosh. So I got about two minutes to do that. All right, so I'm gonna grab my pen tool. And again, I don't know if the pen tool is the best thing for this, but I'm, I'm running low on time. So we're just gonna do that. So I'm doing a little trick here that I learned. I'm just plotting where I think my points should be. Um, let's see, there, I think here. All right, that should be good. I'm gonna change this to like a pink so I can see it. Uh, I'm gonna grab my direct selection tool. Uh, I'm actually gonna grab my anchor point tool. And we're just gonna start trying to match this right here. So I'm gonna grab my anchors, adjust them. All right, this part's hard to talk through. I'm really trying to concentrate here. This is the, this is the part right here that I was most nervous about. This is a cool tool though, cause like you can kind of plot the points and then come back and adjust it, um, which I think is helpful. Now this is kind of funky here. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. What am I? I'm at two minutes. I'm gonna adjust this a little bit more. I'm kind of running out of time. It's just off a little bit. Like here, it's off just a touch. It's not bad here. Maybe I can adjust this just a little bit more. Okay. Maybe I can pull this down just a hair. Oh, it's messing up my point here though. That's gonna have to be. That's gonna have to be good. Uh, I drop. And we're gonna put this together. Uh, let's see. Let's get this lined up as closely as possible. Again, it's not gonna be perfect. I'm out of time. I've got. Oh, I'm like really out of time. All right, here we go. Grab these and calling it done. There we go. Three minutes. All right, hands off. Let's zoom in. Let's get a little bit better of a look. So let's pull this away. I'm gonna group this from the rip. It's pretty close. I mean, I feel like I've said that about every logo, but let's see if we can spot some of the, the inconsistencies. I think the uh, the type is actually pretty close. It's closer than I thought it would be. I think there's some things they've done here, um, some custom things. This doesn't look as bold as just a straight Futura condensed extra bold. That's what I'm noticing. Uh, I think some of the problems lie. Uh, the placing here is a little bit off. I think it's supposed to go more like here but my swoosh looks a little funky. So like the fact that I did this with the pen tool, I think that's why we're getting some of this funkiness, but like right here, you can see it, it's like bowing a little bit. It's it's not, this needs to be like more straight. That would help a little bit. Um, it's not terrible though. I it get some funkiness right here. Like it's like a little wave pattern, but overall I'm satisfied with it. I can't complain. All right, so what I've done is I've put all three of these logos that we worked on together so we can kind of zoom out and just see how they turned out. So I've got the original on the left and I've got mine on the right. And you know, if you're just zooming out and taking a quick look, I think they're pretty good. I mean, give me some slack here. I had under three minutes to try to knock these out. And overall, I think I did. I mean, these were the first time I was attempting these and I'm happy with how they came out. Are they perfect? Absolutely not. I mean. Like we, we've talked about in each one of them, there's imperfections. Uh, any true logo designer would spend so much more time perfecting these, making sure that everything's smooth and center, you know, there's just so many things to get a, a logo perfectly dialed in. But for the sake of YouTube and this video, I think this was fun. And just looking at it from a zoomed out view, I think this is cool. So what do you guys think? Well guys, that's all I got for you on this one. If you like this kind of content, let me know in the comments below. And if you've got logo suggestions, I wanna hear them. Cause maybe we'll do a part two or a part three of this video. You guys already know what to do. Until the next one, peace.